afternoon, grade 11 students. How are you today? Welcome to our physical education class. I am teacher Emily Joy Jose Legitimas from Bangon National High School, Compostela East District. Wow! For an hour, we will explore our lesson for the subject, Help Optimizing Physical Education 1. Please use your module, your notebook, and pen all throughout the discussion. So you can take down notes, learnings, and as well as questions for clarifications. The following are some reminders in using your module. Use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper in answering the exercises. Don't forget to answer what I know before moving on to the other activities included in the module. It is a multiple choice activity that aims to check what you already know about the lesson to take. Read the instruction carefully before doing each task. As for this episode, I will be with you as we accomplish some of the tasks and activities for the Quarter 1, Module 4 of the subject, Help Optimizing Physical Education 1. Observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers. Finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. Return this module to your teacher or facilitator once you are through with it. Shall we start grade 11 learners? Let us start! Our topic is on skill-related fitness. At the end of this episode, you are expected to Identify the components of skill-related fitness. Perform the six components of skill-related fitness activity. And appreciate the importance of skill-related fitness through your well-being. As we start exploring this week's lesson, let us first have the pretest so that we can assess how much your knowledge about this topic. Please get your Hope 1 Quarter 1 Module 4 and answer the activity What I Know on page 2. Answer the following on a separate sheet of paper. I will give you time to answer this activity. Are you ready grade 11 students? Well, then let's start. Are you done? Then, let's check your answer. Before we move on, let us have a review on our last lesson. I hope you can still remember your Module 3 lessons. Anyway, this is an easy one. What is aerobic exercise? As defined in your module, it refers to any physical activity that makes you sweat, causes you to breathe harder, and gets your heart beating faster compared to when you are at rest. Can you give us an example of aerobic exercise? Correct! Zumba! is one good example of aerobic exercise. Doing aerobic exercise regularly can strengthen your heart and lungs and trains your cardiovascular system to manage and deliver oxygen more quickly and efficiently throughout your body. Please turn your module to page 4 
please answer the activity, What's In? Before we will proceed to our new topic. I will give you time to answer this activity. Are you ready, grade 11 students? Well then, let's start! Are you done answering? Let's check your answer. Reminder, before engaging to our next activity, practice precautionary measures to avoid accident or injury while performing the different activities. For our discussion, we will focus on skill-related fitness. Open your module on page 6 and let's try to answer the activity what's new. Classify the following activities according to skill-related fitness. Choose your answer from the text box. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Walking in the hanging bridge. Number 2. Ironing the clothes. Number 3. Throwing the ball. Number 4. Running. Number 5. Avoid fast approaching car. Number 6. Shooting the ball. Number 7. Sweeping the floor. Number 8. Catching a falling fruit. Number 9. Chasing the dog. Number 10. Kicking your opponent. Are you done answering? Great! Let us check your answers if you got them right. What is the answer for number one? Balance! Good! How about number two? Balance! How about number three? Power. Very good. How about number four, running? Speed. What about number five? Avoid fast approaching car. Agility. What is the answer for number six? Coordination. How about... Number 7 Coordination! Amazing! How about number 8? Reaction type How about number 9? What is the answer for number 10? Power! Great! I think you are ready for a new topic. First, let us define fitness. What is fitness? It is a condition in which an individual has sufficient energy to avoid fatigue and enjoy life. There are two components of fitness. The skill-related fitness health-related fitness. What is skill-related fitness? Skill-related fitness or performance-related fitness involves skills that will enhance one's performance in athletic or sports events. It consists of those components of fitness that have a relationship with enhanced performance in athletic activities. Skill-related fitness has six components. Agility, balance, coordination, power, speed, and reaction time. Skilled athletes typically excel in all of these six areas. Let us define first 
Agility. Agility is the ability to change and control the direction and position of the body while maintaining a constant and rapid motion. Can you give us an example? Yes! Correct! Changing direction to hit a tennis ball. Second is balance. It is the ability to control or stabilize the body when a person is standing still or moving. Example, skateboarding, biking, and walking in the hanging bridge. How about this one? Can you identify what skill-related fitness is this? Correct! Coordination. Coordination is the ability to use the senses together with body parts during movement. Example, dribbling a ball using the hand-eye coordination. We have discussed the first three skill-related fitness. The fourth one is speed. It is the ability to move your body or parts of your body swiftly. In sports, players rely on speed to gain advantage over your opponents. For example, a basketball player making a fast break to perform a layup. Another example is a tennis player moving forward to get a drop shot. Last is a football player running out the defense to receive a pass. All of this are good example of speed. Next is power. Power is the ability to move the body parts swiftly while applying a maximum force of the muscles. Power is a combination of both speed, and muscular strength. For example, punching in boxing and kicking for taekwondo. And lastly, we have the reaction time. It is the ability to reach or respond quickly to what you hear, see, or feel. For example, an athlete quickly runs when he or she hears the starting gun or stealing a base in baseball. The Rajo Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikons Architectural Construction and Supply. DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply. East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Now that we have defined the six skill related fitness components and their examples, please turn your module to page 7. You will perform the six components of skill-related fitness activity. The purpose of this activity is to help you gain understanding of what happens to your heart rate when you perform activities to develop the six components of skill-related fitness. Students, please listen for the instructions. One. 
perform each activity as fast and as many as you can for 30 seconds. 2. Use your heart rate monitor and record your heart rate before and immediately after your activity. Take note, if you are breathless or fainting at the end of the activity between each exercise, walk slowly and allow your heart rate to go below 125 if possible. In case your heart rate is over 125 at the end of the exercise, Record how long it takes to go below 125. And please, don't forget wearing proper attire in performing the activities. These are the following activities you need to perform. Number 1. Obstacle Drill Run through tires, plastic bottles, or chairs. Number 2. Weave through chairs. Run as fast as you can weave through chairs. Number 3. Balance at three levels. Use Monoblock chairs or stairs. Balance with one leg, move to low level, and balance for 10 seconds. Move to a medium level and balance for 10 seconds. Move to a high level and balance for 10 seconds. Number 4. Pick me up. Place an object in front with 12 inches apart from your feet. Then stand in one leg and pick up the object. Number 5. Catch the ball. Throw a ball against the wall and move to catch the ball. If possible, use specially made ball that causes irregular bounce. Number 6. Stop me please. Place any kind of ball on the ground in front of you. Tap right toe, then left toe on the top of the ball. Do alternate taps and go as fast as you can. Number 7. Sprints like bolt. Perform short sprints about 10 meters. As soon as you finish one sprint, sprint back to the starting line. Repeat for the time period. Number 8. Running to the side. Perform shuttle run between two lines with a distance of 6 meters. Number 9. Skip with the high knee. Perform skipping motion with high knee lifts.
Number 10. Jump up to the top. Perform jumps to an elevated surface or stairs approximately 1 to 2 feet. Step down and jump again. Repeat for time period. Eleven. Catch me, I'm falling. Hold the ball in one hand and drop. Attempt to catch the ball with the same hand just before it hits the ground. Twelve. Grab me first. Work with a partner. It can be your parent, siblings, friend, or neighbor. Both in push-up position, facing each other with a cap. Place between the two of you. See who can grab the cap the fastest. Then, it's your turn to perform these 12 activities. Please, don't forget the instructions. Good luck! I hope you performed well. Now that we have finished the discussion, let us now check your understanding of the lesson by answering the activities in your modules. Open your module on pages 10 to 12 and answer the activities. You may check your works afterwards by using the answer key. Congratulations! Grade 11 learners! You really did listen and understand this week's lesson. Today, indeed, is a meaningful learning experience for a subject in Health Optimizing Physical Education 1. By doing physical activities, it is very essential for our well-being during COVID-19 pandemic. Exercise is important because it can reduce stress, prevent weight gain, boost the immune system, and improve sleep. DepEd Double De Auto continues to deliver quality in basic education in this new normal. I am Teacher Emily Joy Jose Legitimas from Bangon National High School, Compostela East District, saying bye-bye! Rajas Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasu 5 Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan. OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco. School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte. Members, Cecinia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña, Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldecris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia. Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano, Given G. Hinampas, Judy Land D. U., Donna D. T. Bolfer, Mary Rose N. Resma, Rewen Manuel, Irene Lea C. Manguhon, and Bessie Aya N. Banias, Social Media and Packaging Team, Christian Anhara L. Martesho, William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, 
Cliel S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Arais.